Right, we're going to harvest the um, ginger and the turmeric. Um, it may not look like it, but well, you can sort of tell by this one, they're not looking that happy. They're sort of falling over, they don't handle the cold too well. Um, so we figure we might as well harvest them now. Tell the turmeric's definitely not that happy. So, just we'll start digging them up. We'll keep a couple of the um, bits of ginger under the house somewhere nice and cool um, till next year or next season which will probably be only probably only be about another three four months away we'll put them in at the end of winter start of spring um, and we'll use the barrel for a winter crop I've got some poor seedlings over there that are crying out to be planted so I'll try and situate this and show you what we got Yeah. So that's one of the original pieces we um, planted. <laughs> Looking a bit different to this. <laughs> that was the ginger. Now for the turmeric. Alrighty, yeah, now turmeric is probably going to be a little bit harder to pull out because they um, fan off into big hands or fingers. So. We only planted, um, I think we planted one, two, three, four, five, six sets in here, but I think only five have taken. So we'll just have a look at them. There you go. That's a little finger of turmeric. You see by the orange there. These roots break off really, really easy. As you can see, there's a big finger there. Love the smell of fresh turmeric. There we go. Beautiful orange, fresh turmeric. Not as orange as last year's, but like I said, I don't think this bed was the best. Feeding the chookies. Chookie! What's the tomato? Oi! Ow! Finger. A complete novice of this, really, if you can tell. There we go, look at that. That's what they came out like last year. Look like hands. Whoops, just broke off. This is the turmeric we got. All this turmeric, this guy here actually was on top of this, so he belongs to this one here. You can see I've actually accidentally hit it with the um, trowel as I was levering it out. So all this, I'm fairly sure from, I think there was actually six bits, so I might have lost one or could be that one there attached to this one. I'm fairly certain there were six. Uh, the ginger, most pleased about the ginger. Um, last year's ginger was just stuff we bought at a supermarket and planted. This is the giant ginger we got from Green Harvest, again, same place as we got the turmeric. And this bit's a bit of a puzzle. I don't know whether we've actually, that was a bit that we planted, but it just looks darker skinned than the rest. That's the ginger you get from a little bit like this. That's pretty amazing. Spectacular looking, even. I'm not gonna bother weighing them up. Um, I'm more than happy with, them, with this. We'll give some to relatives um, and friends. The majority of it though, I'm just going to do what we did last year stick it through the food processor, freeze it up in lots um, for our curries. So I think B wants us to do the galangal as well today? Yes. Yes, so off down to do the galangal now. 
This is the Galangal. As you can see, it stopped producing fruit. That's the last fruit of the Galangal. Actually, just joking. Feral tomato. So funny, aren't I? Alrighty, yeah, this is what we've got to work with. Um, as you can see, it's still sending up shoots. So those guys there will end up being um, next season's Galangal. Along with some of the turmeric and the ginger up there, I'm just going to whack it straight into um, one big wicking barrel down the side of the house where it gets full sun in winter. And then later on in the season, we'll dig it up again and um, transplant them back out into three barrels here if the fish don't take over this spot. So, this Which I think they will. The fish are taking over this spot? Yes. See, Bianca's the boss. I just work here. Um, this is the Galangal. We got it out in one clump. But there was only one clump because the roots had entwined, as you can see from this bit there. That's one of the original plantings, the old dead stem. So that's what's come off of this bit. And somewhere in here is the original bit for these guys, but we can't see it. So, I'd say we... Yeah, yeah. That, that's it. Yeah. You think that's it? Okay. Yeah, that does look like it. So that one there we say is... We say, think, guess, is there the start for that one. There should be three. There should be three. Well, that's what I thought. So, Unless one died. Yeah, well, these, these came from our original um, Asian spice garden out the back behind the chicken shed. It was our first wicking garden that failed dismally. Um, so this is, this is our second generation Galangal. One of these turmerics is our second generation turmeric. And this is... Um, from Green Harvest, the ginger. So so this little galangal here will just go into a pot, break him off about there. He'll just go into a pot up the side of the house and we already have one turmeric that we saved, found him growing down beside a house stump. He was obviously an old scrap we thought wouldn't grow and we've just thrown him down there. So anyway, so looks a bit bare down there now. But that's alright because where this bed is, there's supposed to be three fish tanks. Sorry, two fish tanks and three grow beds. Or well, one fish tank and four grow beds. Haven't worked out what we're doing yet. So those uh, barrels will move. One will become a black mulberry barrel. Um, the soil will be tipped out and revitalized. So one will be the black mulberry barrel up the side of the house. One will be a mix of ginger, turmeric and galangal. Um, just to start off the plants or to see them out over winter. And the third one um, will probably end up just here, just on the ground here, where the worm cast is drying out a bit. And um, in that we'll just put some brassicas, um, probably some kohlrabi, or actually kohlrabi, probably. We seem to be liking that one a bit. Um, yeah, so IBCs are still here waiting to be chop down. They make a very very good rubbish bag holder though. So that's pretty much all it for the harvest and the wicking barrels. See ya.